Is there a dent in your automobile that has to be fixed? I will show you an easy, inexpensive approach to minimize the damage by using a wood block as a PDR knockdown to remove the dent. No touch up, no repainting. You will see all the steps I take to transform a dent from this to one that looks like this. Hello and welcome back. I am the Man of Steel. Today's episode, we are profiling a Mercedes-Benz. This dent is creepy and freaky. You're staring at the dent and the dent is staring right back at you. Now we have a real problem. How are we going to repair this? There is taillight pocket damage, a cracked lens, and lots of hidden damage behind the bumper. The quarter panel edge is moved out of alignment with deep scratches. We have gouged wavy sheet metal that needs to be straightened. Many paintless dent removal companies were called and they passed on this Mercedes for obvious reasons. This is a $6,500 quarter panel replacement that I will show you how to save. Are you a PDR or body repair tech? Would you attempt a dent like this or would you just replace it? Are you new to my channel and want dent repair advice? Put in the comments that you're a new subscriber and the man of steel will personally message you back. Starting the repair, roll the car over to my tech to remove multiple parts. We are going to be PDR heavy today. That's right, no fillers, no bondo, no welding, no grinding on the paint. Next, moving into my second phase, putting my dent puller in place. Next step, I'm preparing the panel. Step number three, I'm going to run hot glue on the tab and place it on the edge by the gouge. I will have a total of four collision tabs. Next, I hooked up my pin and chain, then I fired up my dent pulling machine. Quarter panel edge is beginning to bulge. You can see the pulling pressure on the tabs. I used a table saw to chop up a 2x4. This will be the answer if you don't have or you can't afford a porter power. I loaned out my porter power and it was never returned. We are using this 2x4 like a PDR knockdown. Placing the 2x4 on the high points and hitting the block of wood with a sledgehammer. We will continue to repeat the process. The steel is being reshaped to the original shape from the manufacturer. We're going to start the second pull. We're going to move the chain to tab number three and tab number four, taking up the slack in the chain by adding tension. We are getting a nice release from this pull. This will really help us out on the next phase. Now we're taking a wood block to the back side, still using it as a knockdown, using another block of wood as a dolly, placing the block directly over the rectangular opening. We are squaring up the access point. Go ahead. Go ahead. Nice. With this corner over here, That was perfect. Ooh. Two 
right here? Yeah. Can you hit that? One more. Another one. I reach for my knockdown, I'm removing the crowns. Leaving pulling tension on the glue tabs, I'm going to switch sides to continue removing the buckles in the body panel. The high areas were so severe I did not need a PDR light. Now I'm going to use alcohol to remove the PDR collision tabs. Moving up to the body line, I'm going to squeeze hot glue on three tabs and place them by the tail light. I'm taking out the slack, locking down the chain. Place the towel over the chain for a safety precaution. I place my hand on the pedal to engage the floor pulling machine. I'm paying close attention to the body as the dent is moving out. I picked up my blending hammer. I started blending above the body line, then I proceeded below the body line to remove the high crowns. Next, I will need to remove the sound detonator for my PDR rods. Using a heat lamp to heat up the panel, the heat will soften up the glue. I reached in with my scraper and removed the sound detonator. I noticed a couple of plugs. I will remove them. We're moving into the final phase. Now I'm going to get my PDR tools talking to you. I ran my PDR tool through the tail light to get to the back side of the dent. Now I'm removing the low areas by the body line. Next, I'm going after the crease. Started my pushing on the right, working the tool toward the left. You can see the crease is coming out nicely. Now I proceeded to the next crease. Started on the right, moving the tip to the left toward me. I reach for my knockdown and hammer. I'm going to triangulate the panel with a series of hits. I'm running my hand through the access hole. I picked up my PDR tool called a whale tail to run between two layers of metal, removing a dent close to the edge. I switch back to the outer layer, time to remove more crowns.
I'm going to work both sides of the skin till the metal relaxes and lays flat. Going to give the body panel a quick wipe down. Before I show you the final results, I want to share the link for the glue tabs. You will also find a full line of bridge pullers, post towers for pulling, a car body heater for shrinking overstretched aluminum or steel. The link will be down below. I'm going to show you the before and the after before the vehicle goes to the paint booth. I want to thank you for your time. I will be happy to help you out on your next dent. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next free video play.